Hello Libras, welcome to my channel. My name is Sally and this is going to be your love reading for the first 10 days of March 2023. It's going to be a collective energy from all those born under the zodiac sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So only take what applies to your situation and leave the rest for others. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. So Libra, let's see what is in the energies for you. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. First, let's get rid of the situation for Libra. Libra, one message. Let's create one message for Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One message for Libra. What message do you have for Libra? 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 All right. Libra, you have passion and good news. I see what is in your oracle card for Libra Holy Spirit. They are love reading for the first ten days of March 2023. Libra love reading for the first ten days of March 2023. Libra love reading for the first ten days of March 2023. Libra, let's see. For Libra. Okay. Libra, Libra, Libra. Let's see what is in your tarot card. Libra love reading for the next 10 days of March 2023. Libra love reading for the first 10 days of March 2023. Libra sun, moon, rising, Venus. Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Libra love reading for the first 10 days of March 2023. Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, overall energy, you have the page of pentacles. Okay, let's see what is uh, your guided message. You have passion. Let's see the message behind passion. It says love, sexual energy, passions aroused, vital life, vital life force, kundalini, the sun, giver of life, strength, a gift, new infusion of energy, something beyond your control, surrender. Okay, let's see the next one. It said good news. Good news is coming your way. Something beautiful is about to manifest. Feeling of elation like you are on a cloud. It's time to celebrate all the wonder and beauty in your life. All right. Let's see what is in your oracle card. You have the number 36, which is the six of wands. You have the number 22, which is the queen of pentacles. The number 25, which is the ring card. And the number 17, the queen of cups. Beautiful. I see you have the sun, okay, the king of pentacles, the queen and the king of pentacles, the hangman, the moon, the four of pentacles, the three of cups, the nine of wands, the chariot, ten of sword, page of sword, nine of sword, and the full overall energy page of pentacles. So Libra, you could be connecting to any sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So um, Libra, your reading is as clear as day. So for some of you here, I see someone wants to marry you. They really do. This person is very, very much in love with you. They see you as someone that they could spend the rest of their life together with. But with a cross here twice, I'm seeing it's telling me that uh, this relationship will require a lot of sacrifice in order for it to be successful. A lot of adjustment is required here. A lot of tolerance and patience is required to build a successful relationship with this person. Regardless of the bumps, this person loves you very much and they want to be with you. So for some of you, I see that some of you are going through a disappointing time right now. Okay, you could be feeling down, feeling betrayed by someone. 
I see a situation on your mind that is worrying you. If not you particularly, and this could be your person, but I see someone here taking the leap of faith with you. They want to take that leap of faith with you. Overall energy, you have the page of pentacles, which um, connotes a fresh start, a new beginning. So I feel strongly that some of you, good news is coming your way here. Something good. Um, This could be you and your person moving your relationship forward or finally laboring your relationship with someone okay but i feel in order to have this successful beautiful relationship i see here adjustments are required like i said before on both parts not just on one person's part let's clarify to get more insight why is the sun here for libra i see happiness coming for you guys why is the sun here we have the lovers for some of you this is a soulmate um energy this person could be a Leo or they could be a Gemini. They really don't want to be with you. You make them happy. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Libra? First thing is with March. You have the Magician. Okay, Gemini coming through here strongly. This person is manifesting marriage with you. They are manifesting abundance with you. They want to move this relationship forward with you. Why is the Hangman here for Libra? Things will change with you and this person. I feel it's a positive, positive change. Okay. Libra, I see someone heavily dwelling on a particular situation here. It's weighing on this person heavily. And I feel it's commitment and marriage ties on this person's mind. It's weighing on them heavily. Why is the moon here for Libra? This person is in love with you, Libra. They love you. Why is the moon here for Libra? We have the judgment. Yeah, someone wants to move this relationship forward with you. They want to marry you. Why is the four of pentacles here for Libra? We have here the eight of cups. I was feeling this um, energy when I looked at the number 17, which is the Queen of Cups, for some of you, someone from your past is still very much in love with you. They still love you. We have the Queen of Pentacles coming out again here. We have the Queen of Pentacles twice and the King of Pentacles. Okay. So, yeah, Libra, someone really do see you as someone that they want to spend the rest of their life with. Okay. I see this person is someone that is really going to take care of you. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Libra? We have the Two of Cups here. So much energy, so much connection. The Two of Cups and the Lovers. Why is the chariot here for Libra? We have here the two of pentacles. But I see some kind of a confusion on this person's mind, Libra. I see confusion on their mind. I feel things are not very clear for this person. Like they feel like they are making a hasty decision or they're about to make a hasty decision. They feel like they need to calm down. They need to have a rethink. But it's heavily on them. They are thinking of proposing to you, asking you to move in. They want to take you seriously. But they are scared that they are in their hearts. They are being too fast. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Libra? We have the Ace of Swords. I see fear surrounding a particular situation. Someone could have fear of commitment. You make them want to commit, but they do have phobia for commitment. Why is the page of sword here for Libra? We have the seven of sword here. Someone is keeping an eye on you, Libra. They are watching you. Why is the nine of sword here for Libra? We have the eight of wands. I see someone expressing their feelings for you. The nine of course, happiness. And then we have good news. I see something beautiful happening for you guys, Libra. Why is the fool here for Libra? Why is the fool here for Libra? We have here the Ace of Cups. It's all about a new beginning, guys. It's all about a new beginning. An offer of a relationship is coming. I kind of feel some of you are going through some kind of loss right now. Some of you could be mourning the loss of a connection. This person could be married. There is no communication between you and this person. They miss you very much and they are still in love with you. This person could be coming back around. They are feeling left out in the cold. I see anger and frustration in this person's energy. Um, they are not really happy not talking to you. So some of you, Libra, you could be single right now. I see option coming in love. I also see that uh, for those of you that are not single, this person really want to push things forward with you, okay? This is all I have for you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Personal reading, personal guidance. Information for that will be in the description box. And I will see you in my next video. Bye and take care.